In this video, I'll be playing Genshin Impact without ever obtaining an element. Now this will cause some obvious issues, since the main quest cannot progress if you do not interact with the Statue of Seven. If we can't use any elements, that will also mean that certain things will become significantly harder if not impossible. There were also a few additional issues that I stumbled upon during my time playing, but I figured it would be funnier to discover them during the video. Now on to the rules. 1. The Traveler cannot obtain any elements. This means that the Statue of Seven cannot be used for the purpose of obtaining elemental powers, but otherwise, other types of interactions are allowed. 2. Traveler only, so other characters cannot be used. 3. Shop is banned. This means that wishing or buying using real life currencies is not permitted. And finally, everything else is permitted until further notice. That's about it, and let's get straight into it. We start the video by watching our dear sister tragically getting cubified in front of our eyes before fishing up Mihoyo's secret weapon, codenamed Paimon. Finally, after two months, our traveler has finally gotten enough of eating sand and decided to move to Mondstadt. So in this starting section, we can actually follow the basic objectives until Paimon asks us to interact with the Statue of the Seven. This way, we can quickly get some AR XP, which will hopefully allow us to unlock features that are gated by Adventure Rank. We were then greeted by the insanely beautiful view of Mondstadt that we will never see again because this is how Mihoyo gets us into the world dominated by resin. But not gonna lie though, it was a breathtaking moment the first time I saw it. Ah yes, gotta make sure to coincidentally set my birthday to tomorrow because it's actually my birthday tomorrow. And remember to set myself a nice signature that no one will ever see except for my viewers. This is the character selection screen for anyone that is wondering how it looks. It's grey to represent the lack of an element, there's no constellations, and there's only one talent named normal attacks, past memories. How nice. Now, if you stray off the path that you're supposed to go, Paimon will tell us to go back to her. But otherwise, there's nothing stopping us from wandering by ourselves. If we try to interact with the Statue of Seven before Paimon has crossed the river, it won't let us review the map, but it will also prevent us from getting animal powers. I tried to be a smartass and get active codes to quickly buff my main character, but realized that this was pointless since no mailbox. Now we move on to the next thing in the agenda, which is to increase our adventure rank. And we can do this by looking for chests and unlock waypoints around the world. Some of the chests are locked behind those element totems, so it was impossible to collect those chests. And the other big problem that we encountered was the inability to glide. Some of the chests that should normally be attainable are now either close to or is impossible to obtain. This chest in particular, however, I was able to collect it after a few tries. Eventually, just by looting chests, I was able to hit AR2. Now that we know that we can increase AR, I then shifted focus on trying to activate the Statue of Seven at Windrise. On the way, I came across this cooking lady that was supposed to teach us how to cook, but the problem was, there wasn't a quest for it. The cooking itself wasn't disabled, so we were still able to cook however. To my surprise, you were able to enable the Statue of Seven in Windrise without obtaining animal powers. This gives us the ability to heal our characters and level up the statue. The initial thought after that was to try to make the map as visible as possible by checking out every other statues in the game, but quickly realized that there was a map border that would stop us from doing this. I tried to walk around the border, but Paimon quickly ended my life as if Mihoyo themselves are watching my every move. Okay, as long as we don't go to- Wait, what are you doing? Paimon, Paimon, no! Wow. Wow. After getting assassinated by Paimon, this annoying pop-up came about. I tried to ignore it but eventually gave in and teleported back. Mihoyo was clearly not impressed by my actions and now I'm punished by a spare star Paimon. In addition to that, the annoying pop-up will now appear whenever I leave Paimon and there was seemingly no way to get rid of it until I followed Paimon through the path and it triggered another objective. So now she prompts us to go to the statue which means that if I progress to the main story any further, I will get the animal powers. But at least now, I do not have to deal with the pop-up anymore. Our goal for now is to get the highest adventure rank possible which I've decided to collect chest to grind up the XP for. The way I did this was to collect the chests that are around the borders and cross-check the collected chests with an interactive map. 
There were some moments where Palmer tried to screw with us using the border, but we were able to overcome them using a technique called Neuron Activation. I was able to snatch a few extra chests and even a pretty good artifact using this technique. Searching for chests and bagging NPCs for their items, I eventually entered the city of Monstart. It was then I realized that most shops are closed and we are unable to buy anything. This included talking to the Adventurers Guild, Animal Sigil's shop, and even the general shops. Good thing about being a Monstart though, were the many chests available in it including the 3 luxurious chests which spawn great artifacts and the 3 star sword. NPCs also offered items like character XP which I've used to quickly increase my character level. And I've also forgotten that we can't glide and die shortly after. At one point in time, I tried to enter a domain, but the domains themselves were not unlocked as you are unable to teleport to them like how you normally would. Perhaps at a later AR, you can enter them, but we shall see. My goal at that point in time was to try to talk to someone called Harry. Harry is an NPC located at the top right corner of the map at Stombarius Point. Talking to him will give you a cool steal, which would be a better sword than the 3 star sword that I have at that point in time. But sadly, he was patrolling in the area that was just outside the map boundaries and was unable to reach him. I was actually pretty surprised as of how I can go all the way to talk to Wind and get the recipe for Barbados Ratatouille but be unable to talk to Harry. Getting the achievement for learning 10 recipes was also around the time where I earned my first Monstar Exploration achievements. I also became AR5 and still couldn't access Mailbox. God damn it. The actual chest hunting experience so far wasn't too difficult, except for this one chest with a rune guard guarding it. Since they have a 70% physical resistance, my already poor DPS just got even worse and I resorted to actually upgrading my weapon and artifacts before being able to kill it. There were some other chests to note such as the time challenge which appeared to be only completable with an archer, but as you can see, this was actually completable with some real time to traveler attacks. Abyss mages were also a slight issue, but you were able to remove their shields by simply plunging at them. Finally, there was this precious chest out in the ocean where you start that appeared to be too far away to swim to, but with a real time jump and after a few attempts, I was able to reach it. I was able to upgrade the Statue of 7 to level 5, but this will most likely be the max level the statue can be in given the small area I was able to explore in. At the current moment, I've explored about 50% of the chest available in the region. Traveler and Weapon are both level 20 respectively, and at this point, cannot be upgraded any further. Artifacts are pretty weak at the moment, but we can use the Mora we get to upgrade them. The details of each artifact can be seen on screen. No constellation, talent remains at level 1. The goal as of right now is to push AR to as high as possible and to complete challenger 1 achievement set as there's only one achievement left to do for it. But otherwise, that will be it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed and stay tuned for the next video where we continue this meme over adventure. Oh, oh, wait. No, come on. Move! Oh, come on. Yes, there we go. Uh, just go for it, let's go. Oh, no! 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 Wait, what? Wait, three star, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, man. That was way too close.